This is a video on how to make the DNA lanyard. The DNA lanyard is a variation on the corkscrew stitch. So you start with one wall stitch and then complete eight corkscrew stitches. But then you do a wall stitch to change the direction of those diagonal corkscrew stitches. Once you change direction, you do eight more corkscrew stitches then a wall stitch, eight corkscrew stitches, and keep going until you are ready to finish. You will need three shorter pieces of gimp. They're all the same length, two that are blue and one that is clear, and one longer piece of gimp that is clear that is twice the length of one of the shorter pieces. Take one of your blue pieces, find its center, drop it over the right side of your index finger. Take the strand on the back side of your finger and bring it over to make a second loop. Take your short clear piece, find its center, and drop that over your index finger. Take the strand hanging around the back and bring it over to make a second loop. Take your other blue piece, find its center, and drop that over your finger. Take the strand in the back, wrap it around to make a second loop. So you should now have six loops. With each one, the strand on the left should be behind your finger, the strand on the right should be in front of your finger. Next, take your long piece of gimp and bring it under all six of these loops. and pull it through until you reach its center. Take your left strand and bring it over under, over under, over under, across the top of your finger. Then take the right strand and go across over under, over under, over under on the bottom of your finger. and pull it through. Then slowly pull the strands off your finger. And tighten them.
and you've officially started. For your starting stitch, you just brought all the strands straight across, but for the next eight stitches, you're going to bring them diagonal instead of straight. So as you'll see in a minute, I'm going to take my long piece on the left and bring it diagonal to the right. I'm going to take my long piece on the right. right. Instead of bringing it straight across, I'm going to bring it diagonal to the left. I'll take this strand sitting below the strand on the right and I will bring it up and to the right. I'll take this one on the right and bring it down to the left. I'll take this one on the left, which is sitting below the clear strand on the right. I'll bring this up and to the right. I'll bring this one on the right down and to the left. I'll bring this blue strand on the left up and to the right, and I'll bring this blue strand on the right down and to the left. and do seven more of those. If you lose count of the number of stitches you've done, you can count them by looking at the number of loops. So, if you look at these blue loops, so each of these loops going around is one stitch. So, one, now I'm covering two, I'm covering the third, fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, and the ninth. So I've done nine stitches. Now that I have my starting stitch and eight diagonal stitches, I'm going to make a straight stitch to turn the diagonals around. So, I'll start by bringing this long strand on the left side across, and I'll keep it on the left side. Then I'll bring this long strand on the right side across, and I will keep it on the right side. This blue strand, which is above the blue strand on the left, I'll bring this across, and I will keep it above. I will bring the one on the left across and I'll keep it below the other blue one. And I'll do the same with 
the next four strands. This train is twisted, so I'm just going to twist it back into place. There we go. And now that I have reversed the pattern with a straight stitch, I will do eight more diagonal stitches. I'll show you the first one. and then do seven more of those, then do a straight stitch, then eight diagonal stitches, then one straight stitch, and just keep repeating that pattern until you are ready to finish. Here you can see I've done my second set of eight diagonal stitches, and so the first eight came this way, second eight came this way, I will do 
another straight stitch and then eight more diagonal to take it back this way. And here you can see I've done the next set of eight stitches. So had the starting straight stitch, then eight diagonal, straight stitch, eight diagonal, straight stitch, and eight diagonal. And I'm going to keep going. When you are ready to finish, do one last straight stitch. And then wrap each strand around the strand next to it and bring it up through the hole.
and then tighten up your strands. and cut off your excess strands and you have completed the DNA lanyard.